Welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I forgot. I was so excited about trying to capture those images from the International Space Station. I forgot that built into SDR console is a satellite tracking program. So you can go to SDR console, and which option is it? Is it tools? Uh, no, it's not tools. Receive? No, it's not receive. <laughs> view? Yes, view. Go to view, and over here is satellite tracking. So you can you can select on this, and then it brings up another application. Now, let me uh, let me kill the audio of the radio. There. Now, what this program will do, this is really cool. What this program will do is it will control your SDR. So right now, this program is controlling my SDR Play 1. And what you do is you select a satellite that you want it to tune to. It knows the frequency and it automatically tunes to it. So now... Let me pick a different satellite. Uh, oh, it has already picked the top one here, which is nowhere, it's not going to pass anywhere close to me. But I picked um, XM2F. I don't remember what frequency that's on. But if I go back to the control program, you see it's tuned to 145.95. That's where you can receive the signals uh, from that satellite and if I go back to satellites and so you can select any let's just select a, a different one uh, let's select NOAA the NOAA weather satellite number 18 and you can hear that it selected the different frequency I will turn the audio back off and it's that satellite transmit on 137.912 now <clears throat> there is software that will decode the weather maps that this satellite is sending down real time. This is a real cool feature. Now, I don't believe in this software there is any decoding software. Now, as you know, you can have this software, actually the other, this this one, this one, you can have it in record mode, mode, and it will record the audio, and then you can use a decoding program, play that audio back into that decoding program, and see the picture. Like I say, I don't, I haven't used this in ages. I don't know if this program has the capability of decoding by itself. I don't think so. But it will tune um, the frequencies of the satellites and it will adjust for Doppler effects, which means as a satellite goes over, the frequency at which you receive it changes slightly. I could spend an hour just on this program, but I forgot about it. So uh, if you're interested in tracking these satellites, uh, this is a great program for tracking them. Gives you this map, tells you where it's at, Let's see, where is, see the ISS now has already passed over, so it won't be coming over again until 741. That's, um, turn the radio back off. So that's, um, I, I think that's local time, 741, yeah, it's local time. So here's the next pass of the ISS, and you can see it's moved too far away from me to, to be able to capture it on the present antenna I set up. That's set up right now. So you can look at this list and see what satellite passes near you are coming up. Again, you have to put in your location and so it can predict when it's going to come near you. And it gives you all kinds of information about whether it's going to be a visible pass, uh, what the maximum elevation is going to be. Like here's an AO7 
the maximum elevation of 83.7, which means it's going to be pretty close to right overhead where I live. All right. So, I, I can say I forgot about this option. Just want to tell you about it. And it, like I say, the beauty of it, it automatically tunes your radio. If you have one of the radios that this program, SDR console, can control. That's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.